Welcome to Solitaire Quest, episode 14, episode number 14, and today we will be reviewing Nikola Tesla's Night of Terror by Nina, I can't pronounce your last name, I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Bloodganistan, I apologize for the audio. Doc in Penance, I will be continuing to review Doctor Who Series 12. Doctor Who Series 12, should, it should be renamed Doctor Trash Fire and the Sorcerer's Stone. I'm kidding. Or am I? You don't know. So yeah, this episode of Doctor Who, I think... I think the movie Prestige is a bit more interesting than this episode. So yeah. The, the woman that talks for Nikola Tesla. Yeah, I, I, apparently Nikola Tesla can, couldn't talk on his own in this episode. He apparently had to have a, a, a wham and talk for him. I, I don't know why. No, I, it's, yeah, definitely, definitely the identity politics came into play here. Yeah, there's actually, this episode is actually action-filled. I should, I should play some solitaire. I'm sorry. You come for the quest and you come from the, for the solitaire. I apologize profusely. It just happens sometimes. But yeah. It's actually action filled. I didn't mind that. But yeah. Why is Nikola Tesla a liar? And why did he get berated by... By the, the doctor? I'll never... We'll never know. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm getting a fax right now. Hold on. It's a quiet fax. I had it. It's a quiet fax machine. I had it enchanted, so... Oh, apparently... Apparently, the doctor called Nikola Tesla a liar because of uh, the woke writers. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> and, yeah... His David Tennant impersonation is still no annoying. Okay. The people that gave David Tennant the sex change, props to them. Props to them. Props to David Tennant committing to be a woman. Calling himself Jodie Whittaker. That, that, that man is brave. I will be spared when the armies of Blood Garnistan pour upon the earth. So, yeah. So, yeah. Tesla recruited to fix the alien ship. Now, you can have the smartest man there, and he'd be the smartest man on earth at that time, but I don't think he's going to be fixing an alien spaceship. There's no way that's happening. I really don't. I, I don't know why. And yeah, what pisses me off is this episode, it reminded me... I believe it reminded me of the Christmas Invasion. Where... Well, the aliens there, they all reminded me... They remind me of that, uh... The, that alien spider woman from the Christmas invasion. Uh, that's, the fact that that happened, uh, that was annoying. So, yeah. This feels like the old, this feels, this episode feels like old, like the old, old new who. It really does. These, these people that watched these people that, these new people brought in to write Doctor Who, they just think the Doctor is David Tennant all the way. 
when that's not when that's not true. The doctor is a multifaceted person, and most of and a lot of those facets and most most of those facets come from dudes. That's just a fact. Now, yeah, Graham's saying ACDC. <laughs> Uh, these these people they give Graham the best gold. I don't know why. I don't know what's happening here. Maybe they know. Maybe maybe on a subconscious level. Maybe they maybe on a subconscious level the they're giving Graham the the funny lines because they because they know. Then the, the, they know stuff. I don't know. I'm not sure. On a subconscious level, so that man, series eleven, he got the most character growth. He got got some of the better lines, and yeah, I think I think subconsciously, they're biased to Graham, but in a positive way, I think. And yeah. So the doctor gives Nikola Tesla praise at the end of the episode, which is weird since he since she berated him. I found that odd. Now, overall, this episode watchable. The berating of Nikola Tesla, that could just get cut out. I uh, honestly that that was honestly annoying. Other than that, this episode, this episode is watchable, just, it's watch, it's, it's a, it's a watchable piece of the dumpster fire that is series 12 of Doctor Who. So, yeah, I still, these writers are still locked in. On writing David Tennant, writing for David Tennant, which is odd. It really is. It says something. Either these people were not given any a large list of source material to to watch to look up the Doctor, or they're all just fanfic writers. That's it. That's the only conclusion I can draw from this episode. Ugh, I wish I could get. I wish I had more. I wish I had more. I wish I had more things to say. But this was actually watchable. More watchable than what was pa More watchable than Spyfall because Spyfall was bloody effing dessert Was bloody effing disturbing. I mean, literally, black evil Steve Jobs, and an Indian mass, an East Indian master. They team up to literally put white power into everyone on the planet to erase their identities. And they do it using a statue of a woman. They do it using a statue of a woman. That that is just that is just messed up. That is just messed up, folks. And the in the Strong evidence and the strong circumstantial evidence that Chris Chibnall was acting both, 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 or was writing as an XB for both Black Evil Steve Jobs and the East Indian Master. Yeah, that is just disturbing. I got nothing more to say. I'm gonna do at some point, I'm gonna isolate the audio from that episode. And yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do an analysis of it. I will. Uh, you can't stop me because it's transformative. I'm gonna do some analysis. That's gonna be that's gonna be coming up later. That that's gonna be the post mortem. Post mortem for series twelve. I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Blood Ganistan. Stay frosty, get your jewels in one where you can. Abby is real, and still real, because yeah. And yeah, 
Yeah. Don't let don't net don't let Neil Druckmann behind you. That's all I gotta say. Peace out for now. I really wish I could have played more solitaire, but meh. That just happens.